Okay, so we're doing a lunchtime QRP test, and I think it's going to be very tough. I don't have much time because it's lunchtime. Okay, so we arrived on the site, and I'm on my lunch hour here, so I've got maybe 20 minutes total. I had to eat, I had to get there, drive there to the park, I had to get everything out, and I was sitting here thinking, no way I'm going to make a contact. You know, I've got my three watts one to three watts little new kids qrp thing here um so it's really windy and i knew the audio wasn't going to be usable so what i'm doing is a voiceover right now okay so what i'm doing is i've eliminated the use of coax and i kind of bandied together a uh, bunch of connectors because i didn't have a male to male bnc connector and so that's why you see that silver over there going to my antenna tuner. Now this is an antenna that I made and it's just two wires. It's, it's one long wire and another long wire. And I tied a uh, fishing weight here. This is a catfish weight. And it's, I'm basically just get it up into it, up above my head. That's all I'm thinking. Do not try to do anything fancy here. Especially don't get it caught around a tree. So I throw this wire up. This is going to be my radiating element. And I have to remember to put, put this in the red side on the uh, cobra head here. Um, this is a banana plug. Now there's a lot of tension. I had too much tension so I had to kind of pull on it. You see that I'm not very up high there. I'm not up high there at all. Okay, so now I've got my counterpoise, the, that little blue wire going off to the left. That's speaker wire. And then I just toss that other black wire up into the tree. So I'm tuning it up now for the first time. You hit. You don't have to hold that 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 button down on this Elecraft T1. You just have to tap it really, and you'll see that green light flashing. And then you have to send a carrier on uh, the U kits. You have to hold down that CQ set button for a long time, and then you hit the the paddle, and it will send a carrier, and you can tune it up. So what happened was I was going to try and transmit on 10.116, 30 meters. And now I'm tuning here again. You have to hold it down for uh, not one, but two, but three beeps. Then it will send a carrier. And so watch me hit. I, I get it ready. I get the Elecraft T1 ready. And then I hit, hit the paddle and it will send a carrier. And now it's tuning right now. All right, so I tuned it. Unfortunately, I accidentally tuned it for 7.0, and I meant to tune it for 10 point. And I was going to start at 10.116. Uh, so I call CQ a few times on 10.116, and I hear somebody. And I think, what is that? And so I'm tuned down to 10.114. Someone is calling CQ. What you're seeing right now is all pretty much real time. I just sat down. I just heard this guy. So I dropped down to 10.114. And this is the CQ that happens, the uh, QSO that happens right after this. I am shocked right now that I'm making a QSO. I'm surprised that he even heard me. And this guy is in Virginia, which I will learn a little bit later. Um, and just like that, I made a contact. I had no idea this was going to happen. Very surprised. So um, immediately after I set up, I, I, I answer a CQ. I get a 449, I believe, from Virginia. Um, shocked as all get out that immediately I made a contact because if you saw my last video, I was camping and I spent 
I'm so much time calling CQ CQ with 10 watts. I had no clue that I would just make a contact just like that. So we exchange uh, just common pleasantries. I tell him that I'm on my lunch hour. I'm on a park bench. I keep it very short and wrap it up. And again, I am just sitting here thinking, I cannot believe, I cannot believe I made a contact with a wire in a tree that I didn't even, I spent literally 20 seconds throwing in, into the tree. I thought I had to do something a lot more than that, but here we are. Okay, this is the antenna. It's basically a wire and a wire. This time I remember to put the radiating element up in the tree. Fishing weight. <laughs> so you get these, uh, I got this real cheap, it's cat fishing weight. Anyway, speaker wire, man. <laughs> speaker wire. It worked like a charm. I mean, um, I'm amazed. I didn't think I'd make a contact at all. And it was that somebody was calling CQ and I moved over to him, called, called back, got it just like that. I got a 449 from Missouri to Virginia on three watts on my lunch hour, which I, no, I thought no way I had enough time. I wonder if being up high helps. 